Lauer are a brand known for their innovative and affordable wide-angle prime lenses and also their fantastic 24mm macro probe lens, which has been a hugely popular lens for such a niche one. This though is their first entry into the world of cinema zooms and it's the <laughs> interestingly named Oom lens. It's a 25 to 100 mm T2.9 cinema zoom, which covers super 35 mm sensors and comes with user interchangeable mounts, a PL, a Canon EF, and a Sony E mount. So Laowa are positioning this as a bit of a, a catch-all option for people in need of a super 35 mm cinema zoom, one cinema lens that will cover most of the focal lengths you need and will work on most cameras you need it to. At 25 to 100 millimeters, it covers a very practical zoom range for an all-purpose zoom. It's perhaps a little bit lacking on the wide end maybe, but for the most part, you're going to be able to get away with just using this one lens for your work, perhaps just keeping a small lower wide angle option in the kit bag for when you really need that wide establishing shot. The lens is made up of 20 elements in 16 groups with nine aperture blades. It has a minimum focus distance of 60 centimeters and it covers an image circle that is slightly bigger than super 35 millimeter sensors, but not large enough for any of the large format options. So for example, on the Red Gemini, which has a slightly larger than normal super 35 millimeter sensor at 30.72 by 18 millimeters, you can just about cover 5K HD with some slight vignetting and it will cover 4.5K absolutely fine. Physically, the lens feels fairly substantial, as you'd expect from a cinema zoom with this range. It weighs 2.5 kilos and is 240 millimeters long with a front diameter of 100 millimeters. Now there's no back focus adjustment, unfortunately, but it is very easy to add shims to the user interchangeable mounts if needed. And we found this one was par focal out of the box. One slightly unusual feature is this button, which lets you twist the external housing round, uncovering a different set of markings. Now this is for when you're using their 1.4 times full frame expander, which will come to market soon. This focal expander means the lens will cover full frame sensors, but at a slightly longer focal length and at a slight cost of light transmission. It effectively turns it into a 35 to 140 millimeter T4 lens. And Lauer are suggesting that because it's specifically designed for the, just this one lens, it should keep the image quality the same rather than degrading your image like focal expanders normally do. They're also making a very interesting rear anamorphic adapter, which I'm very much looking forward to taking a look at when it's ready. So we managed to do some quick testing with our Red Ranger Helium at 8K and it performs very well, especially considering its price point. First up, we tested the breathing at 25, 50 and 100 millimeters, all wide open at T2.9, and it seems to be very much under control. As for flares, I think they look quite nice. On the wider focal lengths, we were seeing a fair amount of orange and red flares around the edges of the frame, probably coming from that reflector dish which we were using on the light. But as you move to the longer focal lenses, this goes away, gets less and less pronounced as you zoom in, and the flares just become softer and subtler overall. In our par focal tests, out of the box, the lens was spot on. Keep in mind though that if you change the lens mount, you may well need to add shims to ensure that the lens remains par focal. It seems quite sharp and detailed as well throughout most of its zoom range, even when wide open. You can see here at 25 millimeters at T2.9, it does seem comparable to T4 in sharpness. And the same at 50 millimeters. but it, that does change once you get to the 100 millimeters telephoto end, there is a definite drop off in sharpness and wide open, there's some blooming around high contrast edges. 
When you stop down to T4, this is less evidence, and even more so when you stop down to T5.6. But there is a definite drop off in sharpness at this tele end of the lens, even when up for T5.6 when compared to the wider focal lens. Overall, if you're looking for an affordable cinema zoom, which you want to cover a wide range of cameras, I mean, there aren't really that many options on the market. The Fujinon MKs are only e mount and so won't work with EF or PL. The Sigmas have more limited focal length options, and the Canon and Zeiss ones, although they're very nice, owe quite a bit more money. Now, there's the new DZO Film Pictor lenses, which look great, but they are two lenses that cover the same focal length as this one. So I think the Lawa is going to tick a lot of boxes for a lot of people. I mean, it's great value for money, and it will be a very flexible lens for people who want to work with a variety of cameras. So if you want to buy one of these for your own work, then of course just head over to prov.co.uk or get in touch with our sales team directly and they can help look after you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.